Thank you for joining us for uh, this onboarding session. For this session, our goal is to teach you how to use and to navigate around your Taxumo account. Now, this is our website, taxumo.com. If you don't have an account yet, you can click on sign up and you can answer specific questions that will help your Taxumo account suggest the best subscription plan for you. Now, if you already have an account, you can click on log in and input your credentials as your email and password. There are also other means to uh, sign in, which is through your Facebook and through Google. But remember to uh, sign in the same method that you opted when you created your account. Now, once you click on sign in, you will be directed to your Taxumo account. So this is what your dashboard looks like. If you just started using Taxumo, of course, you will see the entries here will be zero. But if you have entries already for uh, your Taxumo account in terms of the cash flow with health taxes, then this is where you can see it. Your dashboard will summarize your total income, total expense, and the withheld taxes or 2307s you may have issued or received. You can also check out recommendations with your uh, Taxumo account. Specific recommendations are given depending on the data that you key keyed in to your, your Taxumo account. So you can click on dismiss on your right upper portion is where you can see your account details. So uh, when you signed up, this is uh, these are the details that you keyed in. So if you have transaction history, this is where you can see it as well. This is also the portion wherein you input your uh, card for subscription payments. And uh, if you want to remove or replace your cards, this is where you set that. Now, also, if you are redeeming rewards, you can also uh, check this uh, page of our partners to get promos. And then on your uh, left upper portion is where you can see specific accounts you created per certificate of registration or per TIN. Now, we have clients who have multiple businesses or let's say you're a professional and have a business on the side. If you have TIN extension, each account will hold one tax identification number and each subscription caters to one account. So this is where you can see if you have multiple accounts created. So you can add new companies for that. Now, going back to your dashboard, it will summarize your entries for the current year. You can also see that it's a uh, graphed depending on the details that your system or your uh, account can read. Now, first to check is uh, your settings. This is the landing page upon uh, signing up your Taxumo account. Now, you will be asked uh, with straightforward questions for taxpayers' details and uh, business profile. Now, for the taxpayers' details, if you are already registered with BIR, which we recommend you do so if you are working freelance as a professional or you're a licensed professional or you're a business entity, we highly suggest that you register as soon as possible to BIR. Now, if you're already registered, this is where you key in your taxpayer's details. Whatever detail that you have applied and have been approved with BIR, that is what you input to your Taxumo account. The purpose of this is to auto-fill out the tax forms that you will be filing through our platform. That means if there are any changes that you want to apply, like a change of address, you still have to go to your RDO to apply for those changes or let's say change of status. And the moment that their records are approved, that is when you change the details on the taxpayer's uh, settings of your Taxumo account. Again, the purpose of this is to auto-fill out the tax forms that you will be filing through the platform. Now, next would be the business profile. Here, you can create specific profiles 
for each uh, taxable year that you will be filing through the platform. Now, for the business profile, you will be asked for the line of business and uh, when you want to file your taxes from. So if you just uh, joined or created an account with Taxumo this year and you want to comply your taxes for, let's say, the previous year, you can key in when you want to start filing your taxes and then you can provide your business type. And next would be your income source. So uh, specific computations are applied if you are a mixed income owner or if you're earning solely from your business or purely from your profession. So just to clarify for mixed income, uh, that's from uh, a business and if you have an employment of which your employer is uh, withholding taxes from your compensation so that's when you can classify yourself as a mixed income owner now for income tax rate this is something you opt in on your first income tax filing of the year so uh, the first quarter for income tax filing happens around the month of may so you can choose uh, what income tax rate uh, you want to apply for the rest of the year 8% gross receipt tax is uh, something new that uh, can be an option for individual taxpayers like sole proprietors and professional. This is uh, an option if uh, the individual taxpayer is earning below 3 million. Now, for other categories, like let's say um, business entities, or even for others who are uh, individual taxpayer can also choose graduated income tax. With that, you will be uh, asked specific deduction method. Uh, OSD is uh, opting in that only 60% of your uh, declared gross sales are subject to tax. So it's like saying 40% of your total sales goes to expenses now for itemized deduction this is when uh, the computation matters highly in checking the income and expenses and of course uh, referring to the tax table so you can go for itemized deduction again this is something you opt in on your first income tax filing of the year whatever that you uh, whatever settings that you chose or for the income tax rate and deduction method that you chose for the first filing of the year that should be honored or followed until the closing of your books or until the end of the year. And then you can input also if you are a single proprietor, professional partnership corporation, estate, or trust. So you can even see reminders here that are prompted by the system whenever you change your settings. Also, if you are filing for 2019, you can key in the specific year. If you don't have 2019 yet, you can click Add New Profile and create the profile for 2019. If you have filings outside of Taxumo for the previous year, uh, best to check on your previous filings for the income tax rate and the deduction method so that you can uh, comply the rest of your filings with Taxumo accordingly. Now that's it for the business profile. Also, if you are under BMBE or Barangay Micro Business Enterprise, you can also file through our platform by clicking on yes. If you haven't applied for uh, BMBE, you can click no and then next for the forms that you are filing best to check on your form 2303 or certificate of registration on what specific forms are you required by BIR to file now income tax is something that's common for all Filipino earners uh, this is something related to the ITR that you are required to submit whenever you apply for a visa or a bank loan and uh, this is a uh, filed quarterly for those who are registered and uh, annually for other forms of uh, professions and uh, 0605 is something that you file every January regardless of uh, when you were registered the previous year 
Now, for percentage tax or a VAT, this these are form of business taxes. So either you're on percentage tax if you're earning below three million, but if uh, you hit that three million, you have to notify your RDO since you have to change your registration to VAT. Now, for others who registered, some are. Uh, directly required for VAT so you can refer to your certificate of registration now for expanded withholding tax if you are required to uh, file these uh, you can also select these forms so the principle here is to uh, choose the tax cards that you want to file at, or that you are required to file to BIR with your Taxumo account so uh, regardless of what subscription you have chosen, you can just choose the cards that you want to file through the platform. Now, uploading of a certificate of registration is optional. That's for your reference. And then uploading of signatures uh, optional as well. Since uh, we're filing online, the very reference is uh, are your taxpayer's details, especially your tax identification number. All right. If you created specific changes, you can click Save Changes. And then next to check is your cash flow. Your cash flow is uh, where you input your total income and total expense or your income and expenses. Now, to uh, show filters, let's say you want to see your data for the previous year if you have if you already have entries with the uh, Taxumo, you can input the details you need and then you can see your 2019 data. If you just want to see your entries for the current year, you input the current year and then you just click on apply. So there you can see your total income and expenses for the year that you need. Now for total income, you will be asked to input the gross amount. Gross amount meaning uh, that includes whatever like withholding or VAT taxes that was applied to the income. So whatever is the gross amount, that's what you input here. So let's just put an example of let's say 20,000. And let's say you earn that income for the current date Let's say for this date, make sure to follow the format of the dates. And then you will also be asked of uh, OR or sales invoice number. Now, for those who are registered, since you already have your uh, booklets of ORs, best to issue receipts every time you declare your income. So, uh, Let's say you have your OR or sales invoice number. You input that here. For others who are still working on their registration but who want to file for their income already, you can skip this part and you can edit that later on. Now for categories, let's say that's for uh, services and then you can input your client's name. So the good thing with Taxumo is if uh, your client's name or for those you are paying for in terms of expenses are recurring, your account will auto-suggest the name of uh, the recurring client. So uh, notes is uh, optional. Uploading of receipt is optional. Remember that whenever, if ever you get tax map or audited, BIR will look for the physical receipt. So you still have to keep a copy of that. And then you just click on submit. You can see the confirmation that your entry has been saved. Now let's try to do an example for expenses. Let's say today you spent this amount. Uh, let's say the date is uh, this, March 17, 2020. The best practice would be in declaring expenses, you have to secure official receipts or sales invoice uh, number and then uh, you can choose from the categories readily inputted on your Taxumo account which are commonly occurring for professionals or for businesses the type of expense that you have let's say that's for meal and then uh, okay 
as you can see, your Taxumo account will auto suggest if the entries are recurring. So again, notes are optional, uploading of receipt is optional. You still have to keep a copy of the physical receipts just in case. Um, BIR will look for that in case you get audited or tax map. So you can click on submit. You can see the confirmation that your entry has been saved. Now for bulk adding of entries, the same details uh, will be asked, but uh, this is a good option for those who are inputting entries, let's say one week worth or one month worth of data. So same questions will be asked. You just keep adding rows and then click on submit. But if you have unstable internet connection, you can uh, do away with this and do your entries uh, one at a time. What you can also do with uh, your phone, you just uh, click on your web browser and log in to your Taxumo account. Your uh, Taxumo account is also uh, mobile friendly in terms of its interface. Now, one thing we newly launched is uh, to download templates of an uh, Excel file and uploading that Excel file to your account. This is uh, currently available for those on a percentage tax and uh, we're working on it for uh, VAT uh, payers. Now, to click on download, you just click on download template and uh, there you can see your account will download an Excel form for you. So uh, the same entries are being asked for uh, uh, or number, transaction date, business name, amount. For the categories, it's the same template for income and expense. So you can just choose if that's an income or an expense. And then again, notes uh, are optional. For the source values, you can see that on the second sheet of your downloaded file. Now, once you have, up, uh, you have updated already your Excel file, you can upload that by clicking on upload excel file and choosing the specific file from your uh, let's say a uh, laptop or from your unit all right so uh, also just a precaution make sure uh, to upload entries once so let's say today if you have uploaded your entries for january 1 to 15 the following upload should be your uh, january 16 onwards that's it for uh, cash flow. Also, you can uh, edit or delete your entries. Uh, let's say you want to update uh, OR numbers. You can uh, click on edit or click on delete. So all your entries are uh, arranged per date. So uh, you can also uh, check on your cash flow entries here. Next to the declare, would be withheld tax if you have if you are filing expanded withholding tax that means you have to withhold a certain portion of uh, the payables that you have for uh, let's say third party transactions so if you need uh, more details about that we can send you uh, specific write-ups or blogs that we have to learn more about it so if you're issuing 2307 because you withheld a certain amount from what you're supposed to pay you can uh, click on add record on the withheld tax issued click on add record and then input the pay name their uh, tax identification number and then the tax code that uh, is appropriate for the transaction let's say if they are under this tax code if you hired an uh, engineer and their sworn statement for the current year did not exceed 720000 in terms of income. So let's do that. Um, for example, your transaction with that person is around 20000 Automatically, your Taxumo account will compute how much you have to withhold from that certain transaction. Then you can input the date, the zip code, address, expense category, and click on Submit. Now, once you submit, automatically your Taxumo account will create a 2307 form for you. So I'll show you samples of that. I readily created. So you can see here all the 2307s you may have issued or uh, you will issue. So you click on view form and wait for the 2307 
to be loaded on your unit there you have so here you can see it automatically filled out the details for the form that you need so you can see here the pay's name the payer's name that uh, tax code that was used and then uh, for if it's an uh, income for the first month second month or third month of the quarter and the total withheld tax the reason why it's uh, tranched to quarters is because you can use two th two three zero sevens as uh, tax credits for the filing of your income tax which is also ideally filed quarterly and uh, annualized every april so again you use two three zero seven as tax credits uh, whenever you file your income tax that's why you will be asked if it's an income for the first second or third month of the quarter and then you can see here what period was that is that applicable and then you can see the total withheld amount so if it's the other way around uh, you receive a 2307 because a certain portion of your receivable income was withheld so uh, again you have to secure a 2307 from that person or company that withheld a certain amount from you and then you can click on add record again that's withheld tax receive and then you can click on um, add record you just have to follow the details that are being asked so what's the business name of the person or the company that withheld that amount from you their complete address their tax identification number what year is that uh, 2307 issued what quarter of the year and then what tax code was used so you can always check on your 2307 the tax codes that was used and then uh, you can input your first month income second month or third month income and total withheld tax now for each of the 2307 you have to uh, upload the specific file it's required because we also submit that together with your filings to prove the tax credit that you are claiming all right once you have that uploaded you can click on submit and that's already incorporated to the computation of your tax due now once you're done with uh, updating your data on cash flow for income and expense and have reported withheld tax that you may have issued or have received to declare as credits you can now check on tax dues so here you can see three categories for current filings past filings and hidden filings now if you may have missed out certain filings your account will remind you of that so you can see here if you're one late filing and how many upcoming filings that you have to remember so your taxumo account can uh, remind you or prompt you of that on your tax juice page so for the current filings this is where you can see the forms that you have or that you have chosen on your settings to file through your platform so there it's arranged with the categories of uh, tax forms and uh, the date of when it will be filed now the next would be your past filings this is where you can see all the records of the filings that you um, transacted with your tra taxumo account if it's unpaid in progress or completed already which i'll explain later on now for uh, hidden filings these are the cards that uh, you can hide or you may have hidden because you filed uh, outside of your taxumo platform so uh, let's do a sample of filings so this is gonna be due on uh, april 23 here you can see what form you are filing the period covered for the computation so in this example you have your q1 january to march this is going to be due on april 23 and let's say you want to file early so you click on file now for each of the form that you will be filing you will be asked uh, certain details before filing just in case uh, you may want to incorporate 
uh, other datas that are not present with your Taxumo account. So, let's say uh, if this is an amended return, meaning you have previously uh, filed this specific form, let's say outside of Taxumo, and, and then you just want to amend it, uh, there you can click on uh, the amount that you paid, which you can see on the row 19 of the form you initially filed. Now, if uh, this is not an amended return, you can leave it at that and click on proceed. There, you can check the summary details of your information, your tax due, and then if there are credits, it's also uh, presented here. Now, with Daxumo, uh, automatically your account can compute the penalties uh, that could be applied if you are filing late. Now, for this case, uh, we don't have any penalties because we're filing early. Now, you can proceed to check out and then your screen will direct you to the payment method that you can choose from. So, you can pay your taxes using GrabPay, uh, PayPal, and then you also have your uh, Dragon Pay which uh, has options for online banking. You can see here the major banks that you can choose from. Or uh, you can pay bank over the counter. You can see here and listed the banks that you can choose from. And for, uh, for other clients who are uh, who want to opt out of banking and who want to pay through Bayad Centers, you can also check your options here. Now, once you have chosen the specific payment channel that uh, you uh, feel is most convenient for you you're in the hands of the payment channel so you just have to follow the instructions that you see on your screen either the the details of the cards uh you may have need you may need to input that on your account or you can check on if there are specific email verification steps that you have to follow now you can see here your order summary and then proceed with the payment now once you're done with the payment you can check here on tax dues again, past filings. Now, you can see it's unpaid because I didn't pay that through my demo account. So, if you paid that successfully already and you see that uh, the transaction was successfully done through your bank and you see that your uh, filing is still unpaid, you can send here on the chat box a screenshot of the specific tax card that you filed or uh, end the payment transaction that you made so we can check if you may have missed out a step or uh, if there are certain things that we can clarify let's say with your payment channel uh, that you have chosen if uh, this is filed successfully you can see the see the tagging here is uh, tagged as in progress which means it's already being uh, process or transacted already and once we get the BIR email confirmation and the payment record we upload that to your account and then you can see the tag is changed uh, to completed and then you can see uh, where you can download the form, the BIR confirmation and the payment record. We can send you screenshots, sample screenshots of that with the manual should you need some uh, reference of that now um also uh for hidden filings let's say you wanna file that card you can click on unhide and find that on your current filings okay now let's do a sample of a late filing let's say for business renewal which was due last uh, january 25 so once you click on file now you can input the return date and uh, your taxpayer classification once you click on proceed again you will have your information summary you can see the actual tax payment that you should have paid on that deadline and automatically your taxumo account will compute the penalties based on the imposed computation rate of bir so here you can see the surcharge interest and compromise and then you can proceed to uh, check out and choose from the payment channels we have. Now, you can check that again on your past filing for status if that's unpaid, in progress, or completed. Now, here on 
current filings, let's do a sample of zero tax due. Now, the principle to remember is even have you have, even if rather you have zero tax due or negative amount which arrives to zero tax due, you still have to file the form uh, to BIR. So once you click on uh, file now, again you will be asked of details. Let's say you have excess credits that you want to claim or if this is an amended return you can input the value there specific instructions uh, can be found on the boxes so uh, click on proceed again you can uh, check out the particulars and the summary here now once you proceed to check out if you don't have uh, any tax due this is the final step that you have to do so no need to uh, go to the payment channels already so again to check on your past filings you click on tax dues past filings and you can see the status of uh, your filing if it's unpaid in progress or uh, completed now if you already filed through your tax sumo account but you need to uh, update your filing. Let's say you have uh, receipts that you may have missed out on declaring or 2307s that you want to declare. You can just input again the entries that you want to change, edit, add, or delete from your cash flow or declare the 2307s that uh, you may have missed out on declaring on either you issued 2307 or you receive a 2307 to uh, apply as credits you can do so the usual process that you do and then you can see on your tax due the tax cards will reappear again which is tagged as for amendment now for amendment means uh, you may have edited some entries on your cash flow or uh, added some records so the tax card appears again suggesting that you amend or that you uh, update your initial filings that's it for uh, the tax filing now for your books of accounts for you to check what books were required by BIR when you register you can check on the columnar books or uh, the ledgers that they issued to you on the front of the books you can see the stamp and some handwritten details of what specific book is that now commonly for uh, non VAT payers you have four books for VAT payers there are six books so that depends on your settings on what books your Taxumo account will show now for others who are required of let's say two books already you can just select the books that you were required so with Taxumo automatically your entries of on cash flow are uh, already formatted or readily formatted to online books of accounts so if you want to see your uh, details of let's say when you started to use your taxumo account and then you want to input uh, let's say the date the current date that you want to generate you just input the date and click on generate automatically your entries on cash flow is uh, formatted to online books of accounts so each of the books are compliant with the standards prescribed by BIR so each of the books has a specific format and content so with this you have two options one uh, the prescribed way of reporting to your books or updating your books is through manual handwriting so with Taxumo at least you won't have uh, you don't have to worry on what details to write because your Taxumo account already arranged your details per date. So you can just follow that and keep track of that. Or option two, if you want to uh, do away with writing and you just want to print out your online books of accounts, you can apply for loose leaf accreditation with your uh, RDO. So specific steps and requirements are to be uh, followed and submitted to your RDO for approval. Now, once that gets approved, you can now print your uh, online books of accounts and have that hardbound and uh, submit to your RDO uh, on the following year before January 15. Now, in order to, let's say, export the data if you want to 
secure the data offline or you want to print that out if you avail the abusive accreditation you can click on export automatically your account will download the specific book that you uh, have exported so here is a sample of the uh, exported file already the details are here so you can just format that to your liking or uh, again if you have availed of the loose leaf accreditation you can format that for printing and uh, for binding now that's it for the books of accounts and uh, one thing we newly launched is to uh, pay your bills for government contribution but you can pay your uh, SSS and uh, pag ibig readily once that gets updated and we're still working on uh, fill health now if you already have transactions you can see your payment history here now if you're wondering where to uh, format the entries for income and expenses you can click on categories here you can see the categories present to your account for income and expenses now if you need guidance on uh, what specific uh, category to declare a certain transaction we can direct you to uh, consult you can uh, visit our website and uh, click on Taxumo consult to book a session if you also have other questions uh, in assessing your previous uh, tax filing or you want to scale up your business this is also uh, the best uh, way to get an accountant check on your records so again that's Taxumo consult now if you have the guidance of an accountant you can add categories here by clicking on add new but we uh, discourage that you delete the entries so from here this can be readily uh, read to your cash flow when you input income and expense now delegate access is where you invite or assign delegates to have access to your account so let's say you're traveling for a certain month or season and you want someone else uh, let's say based here in the Philippines and you're going out of the country you want someone else to uh, update your cash flow or to encode for you or you want someone else to do the filing for you you can just input their email address here and click send invite so for each subscription you can add to delegate access to check on the subscription that you have you can click on subscription you can see the plan that you have availed and when will it expire if you don't have a subscription yet you can also click on subscription and click subscribe here you can see uh, the subscription plans that you can choose from so uh, it's best to choose based on the inclusion so you can check on your certificate of registration what tax forms you want to file through the platform so if you have let's say percentage tax or expanded withholding tax you can go for a micro business plan and if you have a, let's say value added tax you can go for a small and medium business plan so these are the subscriptions that you can choose from if you're gonna go for a monthly uh, billing you can see the rate changes here for uh, the 8% plan micro business plan and small and medium business plan but if you want to pay annually it's actually cheaper but uh, it's going to be billed annually so you can click on subscribe now to check on the terms and conditions that we have you can click on terms and conditions and for uh, the privacy policy that we have you can click on privacy policy so uh, that's it for our uh, onboarding session if you have questions we have this uh, chat box on where you can uh, input your questions or show a screenshot of the concern and this is also uh, available on our website so uh, again thank you for uh, joining our onboarding session we can send you a written uh, onboarding guide containing screenshots if you need just send us a message so uh, we can uh, send that to you so thank you everyone and uh, thank you for considering Taxumo to help you with your tax compliance